In this video, we will be comparing the Strauss algorithm with Bellman Ford algorithm. So, point number one of our comparison. See, Dijkstra's algorithm finds or test path from source node to all other nodes. Same does Bellman Ford algorithm. Point number two, Dijkstra's algorithm does not work with negative weights, okay? while Bellman Ford algorithm works with negative weights and it can detect negative cycles. Okay, now, let us take an example. Suppose, we are working with this graph. Okay, suppose, I start from A, from A I will go to B, from B I will go to C and from C I will come back to A. Okay, so, there is a cycle. I am starting from A and I am coming back to A. Okay, now, if I add the weights of edges, so 5 plus 6 is 11, minus 20 is minus 9. So, this is a cycle where total sum of weights of edges is negative, that is why this is called a negative cycle. So, if there is a negative cycle in our graph, then what happens whenever we are finding shortest path, then it keeps on modifying the distances okay, and it, it becomes an infinite loop. So, we need to detect that negative cycle and that can be done using Bellman Ford's algorithm because after n minus 1 iterations, there is one extra iteration where we are just checking for negative cycles. So, which will be detecting the negative cycle and then we will come out okay, because there is no solution if there is negative cycle. Okay. So, that can be done in case of Bellman Ford algorithm. Now, our next point is that Dijkstra's algorithm works with directed and undirected graphs both, okay, because it is just working with positive weight. So, it can uh, work with directed as well as undirected graphs. What about Bellman Ford algorithm? It works with directed graphs and with only those undirected graphs which do not have negative weights. Now, what happens if a, if an undirected graph is having negative weight? See, this is an undirected graph. Okay, there are two nodes U and V. So, if there is a negative weight, then it means there is an edge from U to V also because undirected means we may go in both directions, and there is an edge from V to U also. So, if weight is negative, then it becomes a negative cycle. That's what we have written. If an undirected graph has a negative weight, then it acts as a negative cycle. That is why Bellman Ford algorithm does not work with undirected graphs which are having negative weights. Okay, now, let us compare the time complexity. The time complexity of Dijkstra's algorithm is big O v square. Okay, when we are not using any priority queue to find the main element, we are just using an array. So, then it will be big O v square. Now, what happens if we start using a Fibonacci heap as priority queue, then the complexity comes down, it becomes big O e plus v log v. And if we use binary heap, as a priority queue, then our time complexity is big O e log v. Out of these three, see this is the minimum. Okay. Now, let us see what is the time complexity of Bellman Ford algorithm. See the time complexity is big O v e. Now, let us take a case. Suppose, our graph is a complete graph. Okay. It means you are having as from every node to every other node, a complete graph. Then, if total number of vertices are v, total number of edges will be v into v minus 1 divided by 2 and our complexity becomes O v cube. Okay. Now, in case of uh, Dijkstra's algorithm, even if it is a complete graph, our complexity will be O v square. Okay. So, the complexity of Bellman Ford algorithm is always more than the complexity of 
Dijkstra's algorithm. Now, Dijkstra's algorithm uses greedy approach. So, in greedy approach what do we do? We select the best available option at that particular time. So, what do we do in case of Dijkstra's algorithm? See every time we select the smallest distance node and then we move ahead from there. Now, as far as Bellman Ford algorithm is concerned, it uses dynamic programming. Okay. So, in first iteration what do we do? In first iteration we are able to find shortest distance of all the nodes which are one edge away from the source node. So, after second iteration we find shortest distance to all nodes which are two edges away from the source node and so on. Okay. Now, Dijkstra's algorithm is difficult to implement in distributed environment and in case of Bellman Ford algorithm, see it is easier to implement in distributed environment because what happens in case of Bellman Ford algorithm, see in every iteration we have to update a distance of every node. Okay. So, which can very easily be done by local processors okay, updating the distances of nodes. Okay. Now, if we are using uh, Dijkstra's algorithm then what do we do? See in Dijkstra's algorithm every time we have to select the best possible option out of all. It means every time we have to select the smallest distance node out of all nodes. Okay. So, which will be bit difficult in case of distributed environment. Okay. So, if you are working in distributed environment then uh, better you should go for Bellman fold algorithm.